It is a mystery when and how this spring was first discovered. But we do have evidence that it has been discovered again and again by the earliest Native Americans, by Spanish settlers, by the Seminoles, by modern explorers, and the thousands of us who live nearby or pass through on vacation. It is owned by the people of Florida and protected by the Florida Park Service. We are in an ancient and magnificent place created by powerful forces, but also an extremely delicate ecosystem balanced against time and the presence of human activity. This is a sanctuary, long a place of nurturing for a myriad of nature's wondrous creations. Legend tells us that the name Wakulla means strange and mysterious waters. Mysterious indeed. What we are about to see will answer many questions, but Wakulla Springs still holds mysteries with solutions yet to be revealed. Bear in mind that the river we see here also flows underground at a rate of 400,000 gallons per minute, enough for the daily supply of a small city. This magnificent limestone arch is the mouth of the spring, end point of miles of interconnected passages. As far as we know now, four main tunnels converge to form the outflow here. A recent exploration into this cave system mapped over 10,000 feet of passageways through limestone rock and garnered much new information being studied now. The cave is a habitat for eels spawned far away in the Atlantic Ocean, for catfish as big as you'll ever see, and for a unique animal, a ghostly hunter. To understand how this place came to be, we can look at the ocean, filled with microscopic organisms, shelled animals, and corals. It provides the raw material for creating limestone, a process that continues to this day. Millions of years ago, when this area was underwater, these products of life and death, existing in great quantities, became cemented with minerals under the pressure of their own mass forming the limestone. A look at limestone through an electron microscope reveals the tiny remains of ancient sea creatures, fossils that can teach us much about ancient life. Between them are spaces through which water can work its way. The spaces grow as the limestone dissolves until the passages become very long and sometimes enormous. Below us, the tunnels of Wakulla Springs branch in all directions, with rooms so large that a 16-story building could be erected inside. Some tunnels are as far from us at the surface as the other end of a football field. But where does all this water come from? Rainfall simply sinks into the ground and flows across the ground, going down into the earth through holes in the surface. It carries along many materials, some organic debris and other materials that we leave behind. Far below us, it gathers between layers of harder limestones, creating a zone called the aquifer, our water supply. So much water flows in that immense pressure is formed and the water pushes its way out again through cracks and weak spots in the limestone. Sometimes, after rainstorms, the spring changes in color and clarity due to materials suspended in the water. Over time, much of northern Florida has become full of tunnels and spaces, like a Swiss cheese, and this type of geology is called a karst formation. Now, the real drama of Wakulla Springs unfolds. 
for it is not only an ancient pipeline of water, but a life-supporting system of immense complexity. Along its lush banks, nature displays abstract shapes of growth and decay. And geometric perfection. What artist could create something like this? Or this? Everywhere there are signs of life and death at Wakulla Springs, clues to events gone by, such as the evidence of a thousand sapsucker woodpecker meals on a magnolia trunk. This is the Florida of long ago, unchanged over the centuries. Fortunately, most of Wakulla Springs has been kept in a natural state, even though it was, at one time, developed as a resort. During that time, in the 1930s, a major find was made in the Spring Bowl. An almost complete mastodon skeleton, preserved by minerals in the water, was discovered and brought up. In the 1950s, even more bones were found in the cave by exploring scuba divers. Evidently, thousands of years ago, large animals, giant sloths and armadillos, camels and mastodons roamed Florida, pausing to drink in the spring. Perhaps some lost their footing, fell, and unable to climb back out, perished. But that doesn't explain how some bones got to be 1,200 feet back in the cave. Eventually, enough bones of the extinct mastodon were recovered to assemble this skeleton, now at the Museum of Florida History in Tallahassee. So the spring has long been a vital resource inhabited by many strange and mysterious creatures, including, that's right, Universal Studios' Creature from the Black Lagoon inhabited Wakulla Springs, at least for all the underwater filming in that 50s science fiction classic. But Wakulla Springs is inhabited by a creature so strange, it seems like science fiction, a creature that poses new mysteries. Far back in the cave lives a ghostly hunter, the troglobitic crayfish, Troglobitic means it is only found living underground. Existing for so long in the pure darkness of caves, their eyes have become useless stubs. Their bodies have no color. Some are apparently related to those found in other Florida cave systems, suggesting that many of Florida's caves are interconnected. What do they eat down here, and how do they find food? How does the crayfish find others to reproduce? Other animals, nocturnal feeders like catfish and eels, seem to enjoy the cave environment too. These fish are only visitors to the cave though, and can be seen frequently as well as the other species living in the river. Mullet, bluegills, turtles, snakes, snails, and other aquatic creatures all have found niches in the spring and its river. Some even claim their own territories, such as these gar, which can always be found in their sunken garden. These many animals, in turn, are life-sustaining for the bird and reptile life that abounds all along the river. That this is a very delicate, sensitive environment is demonstrated by the relationship of this animal, the apple snail, 
and a predator that feeds on little else, the rare limpkin. The limpkin symbolizes the fragile chain of interdependence here. If one aspect of the spring is ever destroyed, then everything in the spring could be changed forever. This is why the Florida Park Service needs your help in its work to preserve this and other places. Archaeological evidence shows us that prehistoric humans inhabited the area next to the spring and knew its value. They could have fresh water here and live well. Imagine feasting on escargot, smoked mullet, crayfish, and venison. Who were the ancient people of Wakulla Springs and what happened to them? Wakulla's many archaeological resources have been preserved, unchanged, and one day will give us more clues to the riddle. So the mystery of Wakulla Springs continues. Even though our knowledge has increased tremendously in the recent past, what geological changes are taking place right now that may alter the spring? How will future human activity, such as nearby development, affect the flow and water quality of the spring? These are the mysteries that persist. The mission of the Florida Park Service is to preserve and protect the real Florida, Wakulla Springs, and our other state parks. You can help us utilize these resources wisely in the future. And just imagine, perhaps one of you sitting in the audience today will make the next important discovery about Wakulla Springs, the strange and mysterious waters. Until then, the mystery continues. <laughs>